Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen. This is Hard Rock University. Today I'm going to test the effect of screening on the grade of the sample. Now there's a very specific reason for this I'm going to show you in the next film, but it also applies to a number of things. Quite often the gold in the rock tends to be more concentrated in the cracks and the softer minerals. Instead of the hard quartz, it's more with the limonite, hematite, things like this. So it's really quite common for screening to give you an enrichment. Now sometimes that can be helpful. For example, if you just go out to an old mine dump, screen it to eighth inch, and make it three times more valuable, well, since the stuff's real cheap to get, that might be a really bright idea. However, this is a different situation, and again, you'll see in the next uh, video where I'm going to be what I call speed prospecting. I kind of tested it out this weekend over at Mojave One. It looks like it'll work. I want to do a little refinements to it, and one of the things I need to know on this Mojave One ore that I got this weekend is how does screening affect the grade of the various fractions? This is the ore. I'm going to screen it to quarter inch plus, quarter inch minus, and 30 mesh minus. Then I'm going to take all these three fractions and pulverize them so that I eliminate the uh, variable of um, uh, mineral liberation. Of course the quarter inch plus not going to have any gold in it, not free gold, and that's what I'm going to be testing is how much free gold each of these has in it so that I can do an approximation of the grade of the material very quickly in the field. So let me get to this. Yeah Chris? Those are full buckets. <laughs> I should have been more specific. To me, a full bucket is about that full. Now, when you're screening, you do not want to use too much material at any one time. You also don't want to try and screen 30 mesh minus direct from that because it'll wear the screen out or maybe punch a hole in it real quick. Now as you can see, right away we've gotten rid of a lot of material. If that doesn't have much gold in it, that would be good for processing, not so much good for sampling. Now we got to turn this into 30 mesh. So there we have it, quarter inch plus, quarter inch to 30 mesh, and the 30 mesh minus. Now let's fire up the crushing equipment. So now I have all three samples ready to go. The 30 mesh minus, I split once. The other stuff I had to, after I pulverized it, I had to split more times. And it took me probably a half an hour to do that. This test, let's say for the particular purpose I'm using, it, is to save all of that time in the field. So let's get going and see what results we have. 
And now, with the dying of the light, we have some results. Now, it was quite interesting because the purpose of this is to determine with this particular ore, and it's always going to be ore dependent, is the screened finds from the initial mine run where you just hammered it out of the mine anywhere close to the ore grade of the bulk material. And in this particular ore, the answer is pretty close. You won't be able to see it because it's very little in here. But we have a reasonable amount of gold there. With this particular ore, I call that half an ounce to an ounce to the ton. With a quarter inch minus, a little less, actually a fair amount less, but I think I screwed up the panning. I made a, a bad swirl once. And then in the quarter inch plus, we're looking at almost as much as in the fines. So I'm going to rough estimate this particular ore at about a half an ounce to an ounce to the ton. Now we'll find out, you know, what the grade actually is. But that's going to take me a month. The purpose of this procedure is to determine, is there a way we can tell in minutes roughly what the ore is, and most especially, what's the best stuff I can get today? That's going to be the subject of our next video. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.